Hey, everybody, I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee. You're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, our first guests are the Assistant Vice President of Corporate Community Affairs at Emblem Health and the President and Chief Medical Officer of Advantage Care Physicians. They're with us today to speak about how they are working to speak about Black Maternal Health Week. Please welcome to the show Anne Marie Adamson. Look, Sorry. they got Siri, eh? They got Siri <laughs> up there. They got you covered. We never usually say her last name like that. We say Anne Marie Adamson. But, you know, she's a, a friend of the show, a friend of us in our community. We love all the work that she's doing. And she has another friend that we became friends with, Navarro Rodriguez. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Good Thank morning. you. Thank so you. this is coming up. But I, but I first got to say I love the work that you guys are doing in the community at Emblem Health. And it's a, it's a beautiful family. We travel around. We uh, educate people. We let people know uh, what's going on. We create the awareness that there may be something happening in your family or in you that right. you may want to become aware of. Absolutely. And sometimes we send people straight to the hospital. Yeah, we've had one or two of yeah. those incidents. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a couple of those incidents in the community. You yeah. know, people come out. Um, you know, the, the, the events that, that, you, that we talk about here mm -hmm. um, that we do for in the community are really for the awareness building. You know, this is what allows people to say, oh, let me go out and see what they're doing. Yeah. But once they get there, you would be amazed at how engaged they get in, in ensuring that uh, they're taking care of themselves. You know, they do the screenings, they do the blood pressure, which is where we usually find them and yeah, have to rush yeah. them to help them. Uh, they do the diabetes, um, education. So it, it really, being in the community, boots on the ground uh, as a ground, plan, like. really allows us to connect with our community and hear what they're saying and find out be the best ways to work with them, how we can change the outcomes mm -hmm. of the communities we serve and that's our intention every day and i love it and i like love working with you guys too for those Thank unaware for that. what are emblem health and advantage care physicians uh, you guys have come together uh, yes you, want, you, uh, you yeah. know i think first of all i wanted to say thank you for taking time to talk about black maternal health and yeah. uh, you know the risks that black women face during mm -hmm. childbirth and after childbirth because we know it's so critical to our yes. communities. Yeah. But back to that collaboration between Emblem Health and Advantage mm -hmm. Care Physicians. Over the past several decades we've worked together to make sure that we are providing high quality, cost effective, culturally competent and coordinated care to the communities that need them mm -hmm. and to hardworking New Yorkers. So for us, thinking about ways we can reach out and support the community so that they're empowered, they're educated, that they have knowledge to navigate complex healthcare systems yeah. is so critically important. And that's why convos like today are also important. Yeah, and how else are we, are we reaching out to create this awareness in our community? Because it's big and not too many people are talking about it. You know, um, it's big. Um, you know, Emblem Health has kind of been a, 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 at the forefront of a lot of these things because we just, well, we have access to the expertise, like Dr. Rodriguez. But not only that, you know, we recognize as a woman-led organization the challenges um, yeah. all around in childbirth. And so addressing this disparity is critical for us. And, uh, and we do it through multiple avenues, you know. I think one of the most, <clears throat> I mean, a disparity, uh, maternal mor morbidity exists for a reason, you know. You can, yeah. it's, uh, when you talk about it, it's part of the social determinants of health impacts that, you know. It's your education, it's where you live, it's how you eat, it's mm -hmm. how you exercise, it's really the zip code matters. And yeah. because zip code matters, it's important for us to be in the space where people are, and so that's why we do these wonderful programs with you, we tour yeah, and all you, of that. You know, you hit all the zip codes, you know, you're, you're out, it's a tour. We do. <laughs> it's a tour. It's a tour. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and the zip codes matter. And so one of the, you know, it's housing. It, it's all of these things that can mm -hmm. impact your health overall. And when we talk about social determinants, you know, it's yeah. not, maternal morbidity is, it's at a critical stage, and I'm so yeah. happy that it's been highlighted that much more now. But we could talk about so many other diseases, diabetes, heart, heart, yeah. heart disease. All of this kind of rolls into that um, access to care and the care you access. 
And that yeah. collaboration is so important. That's yeah. why in several of our offices at Vantage Care Physicians, we're co-located with Emblem Health Neighborhood yeah. Care yeah. to focus on that education, uh -huh. that engagement, to make sure people have coverage, that they know how to navigate the system and they know mm. how to ask questions yeah. and get mm. help. We were very intentional with our locations for neighborhood care. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they are in those areas where people would uh, would need these support systems where they would have these questions and our our experts who um, are in emblem health neighborhood care centers some of them collated co, co um, located some not we're really in those zip codes and we have the experts in there that you could walk in talk to them mm -hmm. just about anything including your health care needs and yeah. that is what i think that's the beauty of the collaboration between emblem health and advantage care physicians yeah. that we're providing like a one-stop shop for community. And people love that because they don't want to go to a hospital and sit in there and sign in and do all this stuff. When you're right there on location, you're right in somebody's yeah. community. Yeah. Correct. You know, they have total access. Yeah. So if you come to Southern it. Boulevard or <laughs> yeah. Westchester yeah. Avenue, yeah. Yeah. you can get that support yeah. that exactly. you need. Yeah, oh, Dr. Well, Rodriguez. Hospitals are important, you know. They, they, are, <laughs> they, they have their role. They have their role, yes. Place. Have their they role. Have yes. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez, what are some of the uh, determining factors that may lead to uh, poor birth rates for black and brown women? You know, Anne-Marie articulated some. We know those uh, chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension yeah. have a big effect, but also those social determinants food insecurity, housing yeah. insecurity, transportation needs, uh, economic challenges that create barriers to access. But also beyond that, knowledge and education around pregnancy and health and wellness and just how to take care of yourself pre-pregnancy, yeah. so preconception during pregnancy in that journey, but also postnatal care and how to be engaged around that. We also know that institutional racism and unconscious bias play into that. And so we have to fight against that and think about ways to engage women and their loved ones and communities yeah. to talk about all of those factors to improve those outcomes. What are some of the ways that we can engage? So we, we approach this, it's a multi-pronged approach with us. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, we have Advantage Care, um, um, which addresses the clinical medical needs um, and as soon as we can get you there we will direct you there um, or to uh, your physician it's really up to you but one of some of the other things we do is around education we work with our community partners in understanding what the needs of um, pregnant women in communities of color what their needs are a lot of it you know they, the the ethology sometimes it's like them not going to the doctor you have to it's different it's it's the cultural um, influences sometimes yeah. that create the the disparate um, need recognition of what they should be doing so education as dr rodriguez says is critical you have to be educated yeah. around what goes on but also i i, I think it, it's important that you know people advocate we we develop the advocacy tools for you and and part of the journey of pregnancy has to be at some point where you engage um, not only yourself but family members yeah. The, the father, the mother, the sister, the brother, anyone in your advocacy. So when you step into that room and you're in pain and you can't communicate for whatever reason, that advocate is standing up and saying, no, this is what we need for her. This is what we want to see happen because there are things that can go wrong. And so it's important that your advocate is standing there representing yeah. you and working with our community partners um, around, you know, just walking them through the journey of their pregnancy. They go to nutrition classes and we organize that at our, at our um, neighborhood care facilities also. Yeah. We do it in collaboration with some of our local partners. I like it. Um, is there a theme for what we're doing this week? <laughs> so did we I, put a, a, yeah. a theme on it? You know, it, 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 listen, just the, creating I, I, who I needs have a, to admit, we, we don't need a theme. A theme. Yeah. We yeah. just need to address black maternal health. Yeah, okay. yes. And we yes. just need to 
Uh, you can call address. it what you want. Home. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. yeah. So what we do, I mean, we wanted a theme, you know, because uh. people in, in, in my in community, we, we don't exist without a key theme when we're building partnerships. So yeah, we yeah. call it Healthier Futures for New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. so Healthier Futures, can, an umbrella of things fall under Healthier Futures. Childbirthing is definitely one of them. Maternal health is definitely one of that. And so we have our Healthier Futures baby showers. We go around community, ah. community hosting baby showers. Wait, you didn't tell me about that one. Yeah, I didn't tell you about it. We, we'll talk about, the, we did it, we did it in collaboration with. Bring the balloons the, and everything. Right? Yeah, we did all of that. We did it in collaboration with the NYPD. It was really yeah. successful. Wow. And so these baby showers matter because we access people who probably will not have one, yeah, but also yeah. where they get the, the opportunity to to talk to other pregnant women, to talk to experts, to hear discussions around, you know, their health choices. That is really, really important for us in the community. Yeah. And so we're we're able to service, you know, all the the three million members we have and the entire community that's impacted by them. All right, boots on the ground. Boots, boots on, on the, the ground. ground. Well, you mentioned, Anne Marie, one of those factors is having the emotional support to be able to advocate for yes. themselves. So, you know, to have that support to speak to someone else, to learn mm -hmm. about those warning signs in pregnancy, what to do if you have bleeding or high blood pressure or, or headaches or shortness of breath or you're not feeling fetal movements, all of those things are words and encouragement and knowledge that has to yeah. be shared and it's meaningful coming from someone who understands you who speaks your language yeah. who, who yeah. knows what you're struggling with and what you need i get it you make our community feel protected or covered we Absolutely. like that and uh, covered we got you covered. that's it yeah, yeah. We got you protected. that's exactly it you yeah. know so, um, it, we don't have the grandmother in the houses as we used to, yeah. who will generationally share the oh, impact yeah. of childbirth with, with, um, in the discussion. So mm. we're kind of bringing that understanding of what, the, what to expect when you're expecting kind of thing. You, know, well, you like, know what? Yeah. You always have a seat at the table, so when you guys get ready to come back and share more, you're welcome. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, Bob. How do you We've say it in Spanish? My house is your house? <laughs> Mi casa es su casa. Si, si. Uh, I, even I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. So, um, www.acpny.com to learn about the medical aspect. Uh, and www.emblemhealth.com, and you can access all of it, including Emblem Health Neighborhood Care, through that uh, that one portal. And Dr. Lee, can I just say, sure. we want women to advocate for themselves, to speak up, mm -hmm. to ask questions, yes. to make sure their concerns are heard. So don't give up. It don't starts give up. there. Yes. Thank Keep you. Keep in step. Don't give up. Dr. Navarro Rodriguez, MD, President and Chief Medical Officer at Vantage Care Physicians. Thank you. And of course, Anne Marie Adamson. I'm going to say it. Siri. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> She's the Assistant Vice President, Corporate Community Affairs, Emblem Health. Thank you guys so much. And come back again. And we'll see you in the community. Boots we'll on see, the ground. We'll see boots on the ground, Bob. We will yeah. see you in the community. Thank yeah. you for all you do with us. Oh, thank you. On the air and boots on the ground. Yes. We'll take a quick break. I've got more coming up next right here on open.